Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to Stellaris. And we are going to find out whether the Kerbal Space Program can continue in Stellaris 1.1. Stellaris has had an update. Wow, they put a lot of information in there, don't they? Uh, and now I'm going to try and load the game. The problem is that uh, in the launcher, it says that I've got a lot of mods that are not updated. I tried to deselect the ones that aren't really important. But, of course, one of the ones that wasn't updated for 1.1 is the Kerbal mod. And so the question is whether I can load a save game or not. It's a good question. And so, uh, well, let's find out. I mean, considering that the Kerbal mod just adjusts things right at the beginning of the game, you know, the, the icons and stuff like that, it shouldn't be too bad, right? Okay, well, uh, things look alright. We are focused on Kerbin. Things look nominal. Uh, I don't know what's going on there, actually. Why are there so many forces in... in our home system? Not sure. They're not, like, all attacking us right now, right? Leif doesn't have many tiles, huh? I never noticed that before. I was thinking that we would uh, eventually colonize Leith, but Leith only has three tiles. That's that's sad. I guess it makes sense because Leith is smaller than Kerbin and Kerbin has nine tiles, but maybe six would have been better? Okay, so... Uh, well, one of those fleets is our fleet. That That's ours. So I guess these are our, our allies. And we are doing something or another. Okay. Too many planets, missing resources I know about, evading hostile fleet, hostile crystalline entity. Let me see what's going on there. Okay, uh, where is this place? Oh, okay, it's up here. That makes sense. Can we send a cruiser, two destroyers, and three corvettes? Should be able to Oh, it's already on its way. Good, good. Um, second fleet has our two battleships. Four fleet is where? Oh, it's there too. Okay. We have this ongoing war against the Vildross Star State, which just won't end because the Gagasi consciousness doesn't want to end it. So that's annoying. Okay, victory. Oh, just as I was saying all that, we have finally uh, won the war. Okay. So, it, it solved itself. Very good. Weird. I Maybe in 1.1 they solved that problem, I don't know. Maybe that's a thing. Okay, so uh, fleets are moving. Fleets are definitely moving. Oh, rising tensions on Rockamax. Tensions between a Neo-Kerbal population. Oh yeah, that's another thing. We've got a different species arising now. On Rockamax and the Kerbals they share the planet with are rising. Several attacks have been carried out by individuals from both sides, including at least two bombings. Both sides of this conflict are radicalizing radical Kerbals. And more acts of violence seem likely. All Neo-Kerbals and Kerbals on Rockmax gain militarist and xenophobe ethics. Uh, okay... Rockamax isn't even under our direct control, mind you. It's part of uh, this sector. I don't suppose assigning a leader might calm things down. Is there a leader that uh, that can help with this sort of thing? Not really. No. Uh, scrolling down, there's one more. James Kerman. Just food. No. None of them calm rebellions. So we've got Neo Kerbals. I, I wonder if we can rename them. Give them a different name. Neo Kerbals is sort of boring. I mean, I guess we have to rely on edicts. Add happiness. What what is the happiness of these guys anyway? Oh, 51%, 51, 52%, 42%. Well, more happiness would be nice. Propaganda broadcasts. 
but 10% isn't much. I wonder if we could build like a pet farm. Neon Kerbals? Neon Kerbals would be good. Um, oh, I can't manage to plant though because it lies... It lies in a sector. I guess I can make an edict though. Construction complete. Well, ethics divergence. Well, we could prevent them from having that militarist ethic or we could increase their happiness. I guess for now we'll increase their happiness. Wow, they're really losing energy credits though. Hostile fleet engaged. Uh oh. Oh wow, I didn't need our allies to... Well, what is this? Yeah, I didn't need our allies to come in to help me with this. This was just supposed to be our own little minor thing, right? Whatever. We were only clearing up these crystalline entities. They didn't all have to come. Unless they're trying to grab this system, I don't know. Anyway, now survey system. Failure. Sadly, the solar, sta solar sailor found above Farragon 6 was destroyed in a clumsy attempt by Jobel Kerman to bring it into the cargo bay. That's pretty sad. A rare, rare science failure there. So we'll colonize this plov, which will help connect our empire. Research rate changes? Construction complete. Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean research rate changes? You mean it costs more to research stuff if you've colonized more? Oh, uh, oh, sorry, I missed that comment. A research rate changes in the patch note. Each planet increases tech costs by 10%, but each population is now... Mm. Now 1% increases versus 2. So getting full plants versus spreading out populations yields... Each population is now 1% increase versus 2. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, and each population makes it worse? I don't understand the logic behind that. Why would uh, it cost more to research something depending on how many planets you have? And... Uh, it makes it worse with more population. Kerbal extremist militia group recently staged an attack against a major neo Kerbal city in Rockamax. The inhabitants were massacred by the thousands and their homes raised to the ground. A message left by the attackers on the planetary data net simply states Rockamax belongs to Kerbals. Uh, oh boy. We will try and colonize places with much science. Like this wall moral place. I guess I could build a frontier outpost there. Where is the construction ship? Okay. I mean, that's only a 60% habitable world with 25 tiles, though. Research complete. Well, this massive glacier is in the way and arctic terrain. I can't imagine any Kerbals are going to be happy with that. Okay, targeted gene expression, Xeno Cavalry. New research. Can we have something that makes people happy? Well, Xeno Zoo. Happiness. I need to take control of Rockamax again so that I can make them happy again. But alright, uh, we'll, we'll do Xeno Zoo. There we go. In response to violent confrontations between Neo Kerbal and Kerbal inhabitants on Rockamax, the Neo Kerbals have taken their genetic modification one step further. They are now both stronger and faster, while their bodies can take punishment that would kill normal Kerbals. Just two unarmed Neo Kerbals reportedly killed a, at least a dozen members of a Kerbal militia in a recent incident. We may be looking at dangerous escalation. Okay, I need to take control over that place. That's actually the this sector. Okay. Finish. Okay, and uh, I'm going to manage sector and add. 
that. Okay, and sure, why not that too? Okay, finish. Now, you guys with your Neo Kerbals. I will make you happy. See, all these things have been upgraded. They didn't have anything useful to do. You guys have plenty of food. I want that Xeno Zoo. Is there anything else to make people happy? Planet Jeb is what I, where I want my capital. Let's see, it's it's totally populated now. One Xenova Zoo per planet? Yeah, we've got the alien uh, we've got the alien pet thing. We've got one alien pet. We need more alien pets, but I'll I'll spend it on Rockamax. This is our capital. Okay, how do we make it our capital? It says, is the capital of an empire. Because Kerbin is really small. Kerbin's only got nine, nine tiles. Let's see. Well, right clicking that little capital flag does nothing. Um, got a five sector limit there. Got to keep that in mind. I shouldn't queue so many up, otherwise you won't be able to build things. Let's give you a planetary leader so you can grow faster. Uh, you... will have a lot of food, maybe? Yeah. There we go. Valena Kerman. You can build the Empire Capital Complex on another planet? Uh, on another planet? What do you mean another planet? It says it requires it to be the capital. Um, here. See, uh, here. I mean, I, I thought it should be that way, but maybe they've changed it. Here it says, uh, planet is the capital of an empire as one of the requirements. So, yeah. Apparently not. Society research. Leader lifespan. Uh, Xenos allowed. Great with a pops of other species can generate leaders. Yeah, should do. Oh wait, heavy fighting has has been reported between from the rural areas of Rockmax. Oh, what happened to us? Kerbals are are xenophiles anyway. Why are they clashing? Neo Kerbals have appeared to one today, the and their gorillas have burned down many settlements. Civilian casualties are high. Ah. Uh, all right. Uh, well, definitely Xenos allowed. I don't know. That's definitely a xenophile thing to do. Inactive buildings. Well, of course they're inactive buildings. They're killing each other left and right. Um, Plov has been colonized. Now we can send a construction ship uh, from Cador to get this science. The research station there. Now Vimas is in our territory, so is Tiffim. Rimder is too. Let's get the signs from this one. And then ed energy credits is the second thing. So in Vimas, let's just put a mining station around Prophet's Retreat right now. Still don't have enough uh, influence to build the frontier outpost at Walmoro. Research complete. Okay, very good. Better physics lab research speed. Well, that's that's right up his alley right there with the computing. That's dangerous technology and rare technology. Sentient AI. Um, guys, should we go with sentient AI, which might be dangerous? It's rare and it's dangerous. It would improve our research speed by 10%, but they could take over. Yeah, maybe in the future, yeah. 
Otherwise, we can have hyper shields. Shield hit points 5% is pretty good, too. If you have AI populations, but what if I want to build robots? Okay, alright, sentient AI. It's the only one that goes with computing, anyway. We only need governors when... I mean, this one is good. This governor improves uh, engineering, physics, and society output. But most of the time, they just give food. And that's not very useful except for the new colonies. You'd have to be really careful that the AI don't try to massacre everyone. Okay, so, so no robots then. No robots. Negative balance. How do we get a negative balance anyway? We don't have a construction ship. Probably because we're overloaded with colonies. Uh, I don't know. These guys are still... Uh, let's, let's... We've got propaganda broadcasts trying to make them happy. But, um... Let's build the Xenozoo. Xenozoo. Yeah. It's, uh, interesting. We, I, I remember making robots, but... Apparently we can't... Put robots in place here, in these buildings that don't have peoples. No grown population. How do we assign robots? Those energy credits there. Build them on empty tiles. Oh, do my policies allow? Let's see. Um, policies. Artificial intelligent servitude. It's uh, under servitude. Yeah, I guess they, they are allowed, yeah. So let's see, how about our new colony, Plov? Can we put a robot there? There's an empty tile. But, oh, droid, here. Hmm. Looks sort of menacing. Research complete. Okay, uh, we've got Xenos allowed under leadership. Now, hopefully, won't have any strife from new Kerbals. We got possibility of an increased sector limit. Better hydroponics farm. We can clear noxious swamps. Or we can get the better bio labs. This uh, naval capacity plus 10% is a pretty basic one and can be done quickly. I guess I'll go with that first. It might lead to something interesting. I don't know what uh, further technologies might be down that line, since there's no tech tree or anything. Who knows? There's a Batharian stone up there. Let's have Jeb build a colony ship, even though I know we're way above our normal limits. Oh, uh, Jeb's space... Uh, the, um, the shipyard was destroyed. We need to build, you know, cruiser assembly yard, destroyer assembly yard kind of thing. Election! Well, I'm not going to be able to influence it. Growth time, research speed, research speed, energy credits. Okay, well, let's just hope it's somebody young. Our leader, Deneni Kerman, perished. Really want to be sure that People aren't going to go nuts in Rockamax here. They've been... That one's migrating to Rhea. Uh, that's a Kerbal, that's fine. Actually, if we could encourage the Kerbals to migrate to other places, that might be helpful. Can we get a Kerbal mig... Uh, can we encourage you to, like, migrate to other places if you're a Kerbal? I'd like that. Nope, oh, the election has happened. Jobo Kerman, uh, they they elected the the Kerbal that failed on that one mission. Well, research speed plus ten percent. Okay, scientific leap, though it kills our ener energy credits. Complete. All right. Gradual adaptation to realities of D space 
combat allows us to effectively coordinate larger maneuvers. I think it just led to more naval capacity. Uh, unlocks colonization tomb world. Atmospheric manipul manipulation. That sounds interesting. We'll go with that. Danny Kerman can really finish things fast. Look at this, plus 46%. Research speed, plus 10%. Okay. Okay, mining station. They're building the things. Oh, Walmaro's done. Okay, good. Okay, so you first build that research station and get all that juicy science. And then we can start doing the construction of science stuff. Oh, there's a primitive civilization here. Oh, excellent. Oh, we, we should observe this primitive civilization. Okay, can we do that? Build observation post. Oh, wonderful. Who knows what could come from that? This is the first time I've gotten to observe a primitive civilization. And then after that, a research station here, mining station here. Hmm. Odd uh, that we can't really. I guess we'll have to wait until these colonies grow and are really extending their influence to each other. Uh, subject integration has begun. Boy, they're really doing a lot of this stuff. Well, not the same peoples, but. Hmm. Declared Val Manax Imperium their rival? Okay. Uh, speaking of which, we should maybe take a look at our vassals, right? If we could remember their name. They are the United Zepper Dragon Council. Okay. Whoops, wrong tab again. Uh attitude towards us disloyal. Okay. Hmm. We can integrate a subject into our empire. Should we do that? They're disloyal. I don't know what that means. Should we integrate them into our empire? Everybody seems to be doing it. Thoughts, analysis. They're xenophobic isolationists. <laughs> so it's probably not the greatest idea, but... Opinion of us, minus four. Could be worse. Five empire colonies. 76 population, 9 robots. Those would have to go. The ability to purge them. Okay, what complete. would the ability to purge them entail? Would that be, uh, what you call it, um, policy thing? Purge. Prohibited. No, uh, it's, it's prohibited. And I'm not gonna change that. Purge is an atrocity and should always be treated as such. Yeah, we can't purge them. Uh, we can't have Xenos only. We can't do it because our ethics our ethics are don't allow for that. I don't know, maybe the Neo Kerbals would allow for it. On Rock Max have made more alterations to their DNA. Not only has their fertility been dramatically increased, but their children now reach adulthood much faster than normal Kerbals. Neo Kerbal population numbers may soon be increasing at an exponential rate. Now they have rapid breeders. Man, they're scary. Okay, well, let's let's wait a bit. Let, let me try and balance my directly controlled planets and bring it back down to five, and then we'll try and integrate them. With our current income, this building will stop running eventually. What? Okay, it looks like we have to really fix our income thing because now it's not letting me build stuff? When did that become a thing? Eventually. Eventually is a long time game. So it's not gonna let me build things. No, it's letting me build here. Well, there must have been some other limitation there. Okay, um... Diplomatic proposal. Uh, Gagasi Consciousness wishes to declare war against the Sejithari Kingdom. Uh, I don't want to do it with you guys in charge. 
livery planets. All planets liberated in a war will form a new empire with the same ethos as the Liberator. No, I'm not going along with this one. Oh, but then, uh, then they don't like us anymore. I'm just gonna let it time out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. The Sigithari guys are um, are here. So yeah, obviously the Gagasi consciousness want to uh, exert their influence on them. We should probably do the same with this Kaverian League. If we integrate the United Zepidragon Council, then that will be our target. Though we could make this our target as well. Uh oh. Oh, no, that's fine. Vote for declaration of war against the Sejithari Kingdom failed? Okay, well, why don't I lead this war? Construction complete. I think that would be a smarter idea, don't you think? This Les Lemsa has a lot of energy credits. Um, let's talk to these um, Sejithari Kingdom people. How are they? Sejithari Kingdom plus 67. Everybody likes us is the problem. We're very well liked. Holy Beldros Principality though hates us. Uh, but they're all the way over here. They would hate us. Sejithari Kingdom doesn't have any alliance. They have equivalent power. Fleet power is inferior, actually. Technology is equivalent. Naval capacity is equivalent. There's obviously no possibility of vassalization. God, well, I definitely need to recall my embassy. You're not the people I need to be charming here. Let me insult you as well. You poor bigoted fools, why are you so afraid of that which is different? Greatly re yeah, we'll insult them. This is highly unorthodox, okay. Um, let's see, who should we play nice with? The Trakposian allied planets seem powerful and also out of the way from us. And they only have a plus nine. Complete. Superior relative power. Yeah, establish embassy. Okay, I'm gonna move my forces over. Okay, well, hopefully the new Kerbals don't stab us in the back at then some point. Never know. 